This is the GIS News Hour for Wednesday, March 27, 2013. I am Abigail McIntyre. In the headlines, integrity in public life and establishing a casino for visitors among government's plans outlined in the throne speech. Speaker of the House and President of the Senate appointed and Prime Minister excited about future prospects for Grenada. Details are next. A charismatic leader who changed the face of politics in South America. A president who carved a legacy assisting the poor and the suffering. A friend who has come through for Grenada, especially in our time of need. The Government Information Service presents Legacy of a Friend. Grenada Postal Corporation in collaboration with the UPU and the Ministry of Education cordially invites all students of the nation aged 15 years and under to participate in the 2013 letter writing competition. The theme for this year is Why Water is Precious. First prize $1,000, second prize $500 and third prize $300. Plus, the winning school gets challenge trophy they keep if the school clinches the title for two consecutive years. Students participate and strive to develop your creative abilities just welcome back to the broadcast as government gets the ball rolling in creating a new economy as it's called, they have outlined a few areas of importance, some more controversial than others. Governor General Sakala Glean announced Wednesday that the Grenada government will be looking into the possibility of establishing a casino here for visitors. Sakala was delivering the throne speech at the Grenada Trade Center during the opening of the first session of the ninth parliament. Now that the Grenada Parliament is open, it is the focus of government to build a new economy, provide jobs and opportunities for people, invest in human resource, especially the youth, and unite the nation. Task with the job of giving hope and creating avenues for growth and development in a tough economic and financial climate, government has outlined a few priority areas in going forward. They include infrastructural development, agribusiness, tourism, energy, ICT, and youth development. In the area of tourism, Governor General Sakala Glean says the new economy, as envisioned by government, requires a world-class tourism product. My government will facilitate major private sector development projects in the tourism and hospitality sector. Furthermore, it will set up fund for distressed hotel assets to help protect the investment of local entrepreneurs and stem the loss of jobs from the hotel industry. There will be more targeted and aggressive marketing of our destination in concert with the private sector. Government will also review and rationalize its current airlift arrangements to ensure the cost effectiveness and optimal impact. My government will give due consideration to the issue of casino gambling for visitors only as it considers how it can attract new and modern tourism development to Grenada, thereby providing much needed jobs. It is also the plan of government to run a clean and transparent leadership and by doing so will activate the Integrity in Public Life Law which was enacted in 2007 and came into force in July 2008. Since that time, the Commission has not commenced operations. My government will move swiftly 
to activate the Integrity Commission. As a first step, all members of my government will declare their assets, liabilities, and income. My government fully expects all other members of parliament to follow this example. To minimize further delays in the functioning of the Integrity Commission, my government will invite the Commission to consider a phased approach to its operations, such that having addressed members of government and parliament, it would move to address senior managers in the public service, revenue collection agencies, and chairmen and members of statutory bodies before addressing other covered persons in the legislation. Job creation remains a critical focus of government, and so Sir Carly adds, local and foreign direct investment will be pivotal. In respect of foreign investors, Grenada wishes to attract clean and creditable investors. In that regard, my government will move swiftly to remove barriers to investment by boosting investor confidence in the management of the economy, further streamlining the investment facilitation process at the Grenada Industrial Development Corporation, and implementing Grenada's treaty obligations in respect of the alien land holding license. Furthermore, government will soon introduce a citizenship by investment program. Such programs have existed for a long time in many developed and developing countries. My government will establish a committee to identify best practices for such programs, review proposals for interested firms, and make recommendations to cabinet. This program will require new legislation, and my government is committed to bring appropriate legislation to parliament for this program within its first year in office. The Governor General says a Growth and Competitiveness Council will soon be established as part of good economic governance. As part of the economic governance for the economy, my government will soon establish a Growth and Competitiveness Council. This council comprises persons from businesses, academia, and the government. The Council will consider issues pertinent to Grenada's growth and competitiveness and provide advice to government. The building of a new economy requires strong partnership with the social partners, including a harmonious industrial climate. To that end, my government will soon seek to re-establish the multi-partite committee to engage labor, business, non-governmental organization, and government on key socio-economic issues, including employment, wages, prices, health insurance, skills, and productivity. Governor General Sakalai Glean. Former public servant Michael Pear is now the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mr. Pear was nominated by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell and seconded by Social Development Minister the Honorable Dilma Thomas. The Honorable Clifton Paul, Parliamentary Representative for St. Patrick's East, will serve as Deputy Speaker of the House. In the Senate, Dr. The Honorable Lawrence Joseph is now President of the Upper House. He previously served in, in this capacity during the period 1984 to 1988. Re-elected Farmers Representative in the Senate, Keith Clowden, will now serve as Deputy President of the Senate. 
Both men were nominated by Senator Kenny Lal Singh and seconded, and seconded sorry, by Senator Nazim Burke. Government has in the, in the pipeline a robust and exciting plan to invest in the citizens of Grenada. Some elements of this were highlighted at Wednesday's throne speech by His Excellency Sir Carly Glean. His Excellency stated that government will take immediate action on the broken health care system by improving hospital administration, strengthening primary health care systems, enhanced diagnostic services, and the provision of basic pharmaceuticals, also forming part of this renewed health establishment of a national health insurance scheme. My government will give careful consideration to the proposal for a new hospital as part of the new economy. Such considerations will examine the key issue of affordability and improved service delivery. It will also take into account how much a new hospital can best leverage St. George's University and its alumni network, as well as create more opportunities for medical professionals locally and in the Grenadian diaspora. The ultimate goal is improved health care and jobs. It was announced that CARICOM vocational qualifications or CVQs will be offered to workers in the various sectors as a means of boosting their competitiveness in the region. Greater opportunities for study is also an area of focus. My government will seek to secure more scholarships for our young people, thereby providing them with opportunities to pursue their dreams and make an even more meaningful contribution to national development. Special emphasis will be placed on training in ICT as it offers great potential for employment creation, including self-employment. The public service will be called upon to play an even greater role in economic revival of our nation. Of grave concern to government is the number of young people who return home from study and can't find suitable employment. This issue will be addressed. The Ministry of Education and Human Resources will be mandated to develop and maintain a database of all such persons and efforts will be made to assist them with these job search. As the economy improves in the months ahead, more of these young professionals will secure jobs. My government is committed to assisting all citizens to access affordable quality housing. Government will move swiftly to lower the cost of home construction and reduce barriers to home ownership. The development of our youth is of utmost priority and will find expression in every sector of the economy, including education, ICT, agriculture, energy, and construction. The Grenada government pledges to assist small depositors of Capital Bank in its first year in office. Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, says he is excited about the future prospects for Grenada in terms of economic development during an interview with the media following delivery of the throne speech by Governor General Sir Carly Glean. Dr. Mitchell said while the first few months in government will be tough, things would get better. A number of investors who have come into this country, and these are not people that are looking for money. One individual has something like 18 hotels in North America and Europe. Now, he's here. When he came and he saw, he saw the, the, um, 